both have to go to Richard. Well, right. Richard and his balls. No? Okay. September 2020 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where myself, my husband, and my mother try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Don't forget, you can get a discount on your first Keto Crate by clicking the link in the description box below or stick around to the end of this video to see if you were the winner of this month's Keto Crate. All right, let's hop into it. It's crate time. Here we go. Okay. Uh, the first thing that we're going to try is a meat stick. It is Thai green curry. That's his only saving grace, in my opinion. It's like, I'm more interested than I am instantly repelled, right? So, this is from Big Fork, uh, and it's a craft pork stick, so... Ooh, it's a pork variety meat stick. Yeah, so... As a connoisseur of the meat stick variety... Let's you're you're a, you're a connoisseur of meat stick varieties. Of course. Is that what you're trying to make us? Have you not learned that about me? Clearly, not till just oh this moment. You were a connoisseur of meat stick varieties. Yes. Okay. That's what happens when you try varieties. Okay. Of meat you, you become a connoisseur. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. It's, it's science. I mean, honestly, it smells just like a meat stick. Mm -hmm. Like no the difference at all. The aroma is so. Capable. No. Okay. Come on. Ugh. I hate it. Not bad. Yes, really salty, but I guess they all no, are. It reminds me a, of um, hiking in a forest. It's a, it's a little on the drier side than the, than the moist side, but I enjoy Thai it. Thai green curry? I guess that's barely what I'm getting. I'm like, what is that? And I do get like yeah, a curry like taste. Like yeah. a little umami. The umami. Mm -hmm. I get a little umami. Yeah, um, yeah. I love it. The texture is a no. The flavor is a eh. Like just, I didn't like that. Tier four. Ooh, no, two I don't like meat sticks. So I'll start off with a 2.5. A solid two for me. It could have been a little bit more moist to get a one. From meat sticks to meat uh, cracklings, right? We have mm. epic artisanal pork rinds. Oh, this is epic. barbecue seasoning. Yes. Now, but from all of the flavors that were on the ingredient thing. I just don't know if it's like the typical bar barbecue flavor, mm, but... I will be the judge of yeah, that. Yeah, you'll be the judge of that, because no. I don't really like barbecue flavored things. Oh, yes. but... You don't either. You, no. You're such a unique taste bud. Do I? Thank yes. you. This one is... Yes. It looks like a slice of pizza, unique. which Very, I like this. Uh, happily. Yeah, exactly. That's how you say you need. Okay, let's go. Choose these. There's only like one or two brands of pork rinds. You get that I'm, in part. You get that little. I don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like no, it. I mm -hmm. rather two. enjoy that. Yeah, no. me as well. A two. Yes. A solid two. Mm -hmm. The first two have been a solid two. Yeah. Well, y'all can share these when this is done because I don't want them. Some savory things that I am looking forward to. Okay, shrewd foods, sour cream and onion, protein puff. So mm. this, I have a feeling I'm gonna like the flavor. Here we go again. All right. So silly. How they look like. Nope. Let go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, well, those are good. What? Y'all just, y'all record this right now? Exactly. Something is really good for my wife to enjoy. These, I mean, taste exactly like sour cream and onion. Mm -hmm. They don't it. really get too much of the, um, the protein chew oh, factor. I enjoy the crunch. The crunch is really good. Shrewd food. Protein puffs. Protein yeah. puffs. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it has a really good flavor the entire time. Yeah. That is definitely a tier two for me. Yes. Mm. I also flavor. agree. Mm -hmm. I do like the crunch. It's mm -hmm. a two for me. Well, good. Yeah, Finally. Next. Oh, high Kelly key. High key almond flour crackers. Did we know that high key had almond flour crackers? Did no, you know that? We do yeah. now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't straight to the cookie. I don't know. Order. Exactly. I was like, I don't even know if I knew that high key had Amazing. savory anything. Let's be honest, what right? What flavor are these savory? They are cheddar. Ooh. Yeah, nice. they're definitely supposed to be giving cheese its vibes. Nice. So. Like a cheese nip. 
cheese yeah. cheese nip vibes. So. That's the alternative yeah. to cheese nip. Like, if you can't yeah. have a nip, you can have a nip. It's a large nip. It is. A it large is. Nip. It yeah. is. It's it very like cover a piece of your face. It is. It's very Mwah. nice, babe. Let's try it out. This large nip. Mm. Mm, wouldn't expect that. Maybe it's stale. I yeah, know it, it tastes. No, I think it's like a. Mm. It just takes it's time. not crispy at all. Yeah. It's more like a, like a cookie consistency. You know? Yeah, it's like more of a biscuit, you know? But not like. It's, it's definitely not mm. cheese it. You want another one? It's that's definitely not one cheese one. it uh, consistency. I'm trying to. Mm mm. I think it's meant to be a little thicker though. I think yeah. That's supposed to happen. Maybe. For guacamole dip. I mean, maybe, I mean this would be good for dipping because they're quite substantial, but mm -hmm. there's no crunch factor. Mm -hmm. You can stand and use a little bit yeah. more flavor too. I would probably just have to use that as a dip. I'd give it a two and a half. <laughs> Definitely not my favorite high key product, but you know. I don't know, even if I'm mm. going for a cheese cracker, if I would choose this one. Three for me. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a two and a half slash three. You know? I would say three as well. Yeah. I'm sad to say that. Yeah, I did just, your cookies I are didn't, wonderful. I did yeah. not like them, but it just, I didn't love them. Like, what was that? Like, it almost confused me more than it delighted me. It's very me. You know? Like, yeah. Like it expanded once you ate it. Oh my god, you're no. already full now? I was gonna say. I, I shouldn't have gave them that the second oh, one. Now yeah. Look! Moon Cheese is making their own almond oh and moon cheese gosh. mix. Oh my god. You remember how every other time, like High Low Life and everyone's like, oh, this is basically moon cheese with nuts mixed exactly. in. Moon Cheese has created its own moon right. cheese with time. nuts. Exactly. Oh, there. That's what so I was weird. like, way to, way to get on the in on the market. Everyone's taking your idea of like, we're just going to mix moon cheese with almonds. Yeah. Okay. I mean, literally. Moon right. cheese and almonds. Like, You're right. Just Two things you love. Up. Pretty sure we ain't gotta eat these to have a bowl. Oh, but, but I'm going to, so there's that. Okay. Moon cheese Yay. and almonds, right? Okay, yeah. let's go. This is a tier two. I wouldn't necessarily buy these like this. I would definitely just buy moon cheese. Even though I like mm. cheese and nut mixes, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily need to buy them, right? I mean, that's not differentiated enough from moon cheese enough for me to like. Like, I just like moon cheese, okay. right? Right? So. Like, there's too many almonds in my moon cheese. Yeah, well, and plus, there's like a little <laughs> dusting on the moon cheese. And no, regular moon cheese, there is no dusting. Like, the oh, moon cheese is the product, you know? I didn't even so, know that. Mm -hmm. Look at you, aficionado. Okay, on to the sweet stuff. Finally, yes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to try here is these good D's sugar-free cookies right Ooh. so this is a baking mix so i did have to actually make the cookies it wasn't difficult at all only needed three ingredients look butter and egg and it said a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract we literally have every extract in the world really? except yeah. vanilla really? normally also oh, wow. we have four maple extracts yeah, i was like oh them. i said oh here's the vanilla oh no it's maple again i mean so much maple yeah, so well, i actually did put maple, maple extract through the magic of television in the cookie so everyone get a, get a cookie i'll take a maple extract oh, no, I'll take i mean it smelled delicious as it was baking oh, so it smells delicious. Delicious. yeah it's like a pancake yeah exactly okay let's go. Mm, it still smells like a pancake mm -hmm. all right Damn it's very soft and airy mm -hmm. I think it's delicious. There's a tier two. Mm -hmm. Look, I, don't, I don't know if the maple adding or taking one. Taste wise, it is delicious. Say tier two as well. Very nice, light. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's a good dessert cookie. But like for me, I'd probably just buy like high key sugar cookies, like biscuits, or you know, like I would Definitely just buy good. a little cookie. Like I'm not gonna. For me, they wouldn't, you know, like, I'm not putting in the effort. But, like, if mixes from packets are your things, this is yes, great, you know? enjoy that. Yes, you yeah. Yeah. Okay. Richard. <gasps> Keto oh, crisp. No almond butter. We know. We know. What to expect. <laughs> this is just almond butter. Now, we are so I said that, like, almond just... butter, chocolate chip, all the, you know, almond butter evenly. and jelly. Okay, all three of us love this one. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna cut it even, and we're we're gonna we're gonna finish this thing right yes, now. Let me ask, I'll judge. Oh my God! Your face is bigger than mine. Okay, I'll take this one right here. Dibs. Okay. Dibs. <laughs> this is what the keto crisp. Tier one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love your Mmm. Tier one. Tier one. Yeah. Tier one. It is so delicious. 
I will buy it, have bought it, we'll buy it again. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much <laughs> what he said. All the tenses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this particular flavor for me, tier two, only because they have like three other flavors that I like so much more that I would buy over this one. Mm -hmm. But like, almond butter is just great. But you know, they have, all the ones with chocolate chips in it, I'm going to choose first, mm -hmm. right? But this well, is still give me delicious. The classic. Mm -hmm. Give me almond butter all day. Mm -hmm. So good. Stack them to the seat. Now I love all the other ones too, though. Yeah. For variety's sake. Texture. So good. Yeah. Very it's good. Like a, it's like a coated Rice Krispie treat. This is yeah. exactly what's mm. It gives me the same vibe. Coated and almond butter. Yeah. It's just like, it's like smeary, the way yeah. peanut butter is, you know? Mm. Very so good. Delicious. Tier, Tier one. one. Mm hmm. Pen ultimately. Oh no, we got more stuff in here. Okay. But next, we got a Jimmy bar. Come on, Jimmy. Spoiler no. alert, there are chocolate chips in here. Okay. It, it is, uh, the flavor, however, is macadamia nut. All right. <laughs> so, so hopefully there are also macadamia nuts in I'm here. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but you should've, you should've saved that keto crisp for last. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> nothing can compare. <laughs> I was gonna say, unfortunately, the weeds are going down. Oh, no, for, hopefully for, not, for, but Jimmy, yeah. I remember. Okay. Here we go. Macadamia nut Jimmy bar. Mm. It's a very different texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very dry. Mm -hmm. Two or three for me. No, I'm a two. Yeah. I'm a two, you Jimmy. There's a two for me. It's dry yeah. my mouth out. Yeah. It's definitely it's dry. dry. But mm. I like the flavor. I've tried some bars that I like hate and can put mm. it in tier three. Yeah. No, that's, that's not one of them. Yeah, that's just a too. good almond peanut, macadamia, chocolate, fla I mean, that's just yes. like a random, like a regular flavored bar, right? I'll take that. Super Reggie. Mm -hmm. Super <laughs> <laughs> Pen ultimately, we have the Ratio Keto Bar. This is a vanilla almond crunch bar. I'm thinking Nature Valley, you know? Oh, Those wow. really crispy. I'm yeah, here for that. I'm going Nature Valley. Valley. Yeah. It is very, like, it's not. Don't hurt stuff. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think it's a shard in my eye. eye. Exactly. Like, ah! Okay. Ooh. Okay. Better take that. Take mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. The shards. Uh, nature. Okay. Let's go. Shh. Everything I want to say about it has too many. That's what she says. But I, <laughs> so you're just going through it. Stop it, your mind. Oh like, nope. Man, nope. Your, your minds are always nope. in the gutter. You know, as we we get further and further into this series, I can't help but not only speak about the items from a standalone standpoint, but also I can't help but compare them to things I've had in the past. Okay. Because okay. to me, this is a tier three. Like, but it okay. doesn't taste yep. bad, it but it's just like, there are so, so many, many other things right. that I would have before I chose this, right? But it so, doesn't taste bad. So with the only bar you ever had, you would give it a two. Yes, I would give it a two. But like some competition. You yeah, like I have to give it a three, you know? Mm -hmm. But like... I'm not, not against that. If you like super crunchy things, if like... The flavor's not bad. Right, the flavor's it's mild. Good. It is it's crunchy. Yeah. But like when I compare it to like... If, don't, if I had this, a Quest bar, about six other different types of bars, mm -hmm. this would be the last one I grabbed, you yeah. know? So it's just like, I have to give it a tier three. But I mean, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I just can't. I know too much. Right. Yeah. To give it other one. I'm yeah. gonna say too. I mean, okay. really, not, I don't want to say it was good, but yes. I agree it with her. Was there's so many other ones that it did better. its job. Yeah, it was adequate. You know, know it was, was good. adequate, right? Finally, Good Sam dark chocolate candy coated almonds. Ooh. I know. I'm very you excited did about this. One first. No, I'm trying to save oh. the best for last. So well, then you, you, you know this is a no, no. Save the best that we haven't tried yet. Okay. Yeah, we all, we could have ended on Keto Crisp and just known that that would have been no, no. <laughs> That's what I was saying. But this is like something I'm excited to try. Stay. Hopefully it pays off because you know sometimes <sighs> it doesn't be paying off to yeah, save the best for last. I mean, these are hard coated. Like, are these like Jordan almonds? Like, is that what the? I mean, yeah, like maracas. So there's a, there's something inside of these. An almond. It's All dark right. chocolate candy coated. Okay, let's go. And we're eating. Okay. Mmm. Oh. I'm gonna peanut him now. Should be a lot dark chocolate. An almond him now. Mmm. You hear that? No, that's a crunch, ladies and gentlemen. Taste wise. For tier one. I really enjoy it. I love the candy coating. Mm -hmm. I love 
the dark chocolate and almond flavor. Mm -hmm. Ingredient wise, I might have to give it a tier two because it has isomaltulose. Mm. What is that? I don't know. Like, so I was just like, mm, but don't get me wrong. We've had things with sucralose. We've had things with straight up sugar in them before. Things with mm -hmm. honey. Like, you know, the keto crate be, you know, playing fast and loose with ingredients sometimes. So mm -hmm. I wasn't like, oh no, how dare they? But I was just like, um, eh, for my own personal diet. But taste wise, I really like those. So. Mm -hmm. The Bluetooth better for me. Yeah, it is dark chocolate. Say, it's tier very two dark. taste. Yeah. Tier three on ingredients. Yeah. So tier one on taste to me, it is dark chocolate. It is bitter. Yes. But the crunch it and the flavors the, the are really good. Effect. You yeah, get the like the coating. Yeah, yeah, the candy coated. I love it. Okay. Is it two for you as well? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Look at that. So that we cool. are done. I like this. Like, and do you know who else I want to see if they like it? The person that won this month's Keto Crank. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that person is... Oh, what's look at your name down email there? Email me at watchoutonketo at gmail.com. Uh, and we will get a keto crate shipped out to you. Congratulations. If not, but don't worry, if you didn't win, like, you know, use the link in the description, get you a keto crate so that you can try at least those, right? But I want to hear, did you try this keto crate? Yes. What did you think about all the items in it? Like, what did you think about these? What were your expectations? Because that was kind of weird, so. Those were great poops. Yeah, those were good. Stop holding things up, everyone. It's oh, just not a mind. Everyone hold things up. Like, oh, no, no. We're resetting the room. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next month. Bye! Bye. <laughs> you ever do this, say, holly golly, you say handful, you say how many, and then you have to guess how many you're shaking up in your hand, and then if they shake, you guess how many is in your hand. What are they? Are they M&M? Stop. We're going to start over again. Cool. We good now. Okay. Tune in now. next week. <laughs> Another episode. Look.